What's up? I'm Avion, out here in London. Basically, 22 years old from Canada. Yeah. Footballer, disciple, all of that good stuff. Uh, grew up more or less around a Christian home, Christian-based home. Went to church every Sunday and stuff like that. Um, got baptized when I was 13, but I didn't fully understand it, what I was committing to, whatever else. So came out here to London to play football, you know what I mean, do what I love. And um, I met up with uh, Giles at Westfield in uh, Shepherd's Bush. And yeah, we just started doing some Bible studies, really talking about God. It was funny because like, a couple nights before that, I think, I was talking to my auntie and telling her, yo, I just really want to get closer to God, getting my Bible studies and go to church and them things again because I've been missing out and didn't really know any churches around here. So yeah, Giles really just introduced me to a new aspect of what being a true disciple is and all of that. So I just hopped on board immediately. I mean, who wouldn't want to live forever in a happy place? When you you go from a place where it's like, I came from the ghetto back home, so it's lots of crimes and stuff like that. You get involved in a lot of different things. But when you come to Christ, it's a whole different ball game. It's like you, you get peace, and you get joy. And all of that stuff is all good. But you also get different type of uh, hardship, different type of prosecution and whatever. And at the end of the day, you just have to realize that, yo, it's all for God. So I mean, I'm, I'm more used to being prosecuted by, you could say, like, Christians and stuff like that for being in the world and doing worldly stuff. But now everything's like flips to get prosecuted by the world for being a Christian and doing good things, you know what I mean? And improving not only your life, but your hearers as well. So I find that my life has been more enjoyable as well. A lot more fun, I've seen miracles that I think if I wasn't a disciple, there's no way that would have happened come from a long way so yeah I just have to give God thanks for just switching my life in a positive way my favorite scripture for me would have to be Psalms 37 verse 4 delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart for me that scripture has gone back a long way from when I was about 16 growing up that that scripture always stuck with me reason being is because I noticed that anytime I was really just seeking God, the things that I wanted to do in life, for instance, becoming a footballer, um, trying to find jobs, all of those stuff, everything, that God made it work out. So for me, I hold that scripture really dear to my heart. And yeah, that's probably my favorite scripture. Today's your birthday, right? Yeah, yeah, today's my birthday, big 22. I mean, I still feel like I'm 16. Yeah, I'm <laughs> saying I'm 16 in that, but, but yeah, I'm just excited, man. Just being able to to see 22. Lots of my friends back home didn't even get to see 18, 19, and stuff like that. So I feel like God's really blessed me to see 22. And not only that, but this is now my second birthday in England. So to be able to see two birthdays here, and I just feel refreshed, feel good, feel new that you know what. I could have been dead when I was born, was struggling with life, and God took me from struggling from the day of birth to being here at 22 years old, so I just have to give God thanks.